Hi guys, my name's Lockie. And I'm Ash. And today we're going to give you a full tour of our self-built camper van. So we are both from Australia and we came to Europe last year. We bought a 2014 Ford Transit from the Netherlands, registered it in Andorra and built it in Germany. So let's take a look inside. So one of our first priorities was to install our swivel seat. So it maximizes the space that we have. Um, when we're parked up, we have an extra seat and it's pretty comfy too. The rest of the cab is pretty standard. We've just installed a nice handy towel rack behind the driver's seat. And we also use the space behind the driver's seat just to store any drinks. So we've got some wine that we've collected along our travels. We've got toilet paper. Yeah, all just storage space. Okay, so the space above the cab, we basically just use for random crap storage. Uh, we just put a little curtain in front to hide the ugliness, but it just has protein powders, uh, anything else that we don't have a spot for. Basically, it just goes straight up here, just to optimize storage a little bit better. And so at the top as well, we just have these little hooks here. And basically, after we shower or we're coming in from the snow, we just hang everything up here. And the heater basically blows straight up this way and sort of heats everything and dries it pretty quickly. So basically, as you walk in, we just have a little module here as well which basically tells us our battery levels, our water levels, uh, turns the power on and off. Uh, you can switch on the water pumps from here, the outside light, and yeah, it's a really good little module just to know what's going on in the camper van and if we're running low on water or we need to empty water or whatever, it's basically all controlled from here and makes it a lot, lot easier. So in the van, we have a full functioning indoor shower. So we've made it out of PVC tiles. So it really looks like a little shower in a tiny apartment. So it's fully functioning. It's got hot and cold water, toilet roll holder with a little shelf on top. You can pop your soap on. And in the bottom of our shower sits our portable toilet. So as the toilet sits in the base of the shower, um, when we want to have a shower, all we have to do is lift the toilet out like such. We usually just pop it to the side here and pop on in and pull the curtain across. Easy as that. So the toilet is really easy and simple to clean. So all we do is we lift the toilet out like I did before. The bottom detaches and then we just pour it down into the dumping station. Give it a good clean out and pop it back in. So our kitchen is probably my favorite place in the van. We've got our two gas burner stove here. We've got our little sink with hot and cold water. We've got this awesome pop-up bench here to maximize space when cooking and cleaning. And it just pops up and down like that. Also on the other side, this bench actually comes off and our seating area pops up. Okay, so with the kitchen bench, we did a sort of really unique touch to it. Uh, we made it a shoe shugi barn, which is like a flame finish to wood. Uh, it's from the Japanese culture, I believe. And what we do is basically burn the timber, scrape off the ash with a wire brush, sand it back, and then you get this really unique design. After that, we basically poured resin on it to give it a finish, like a glossy finish. And it came up really cool. It's probably one of my favorite parts of the van. So living in a van, storage space was always one thing we never wanted to have minimal of. And our van has loads of it. The kitchen in particular has lots of storage space. We have three above the bench cupboards. Um, the first cupboard here, as you can see, we store our beautiful coffee grinder, which is Lockie's pride and joy. Um, we've got tea in here, garbage bags, soups, all that kind of little bits and pieces. Now the double cupboard in the middle opens up and you'll see here that we have our beautiful bamboo side plates, bowls, we've got some bamboo takeaway cups, we've got our regular cups, some coffee mugs and some fancy camper friendly, not glassware but I don't know what you call it, crystalware which is actually plastic but they look amazing and we love them. So next up in the kitchen, we have four drawers down the side here. So in these drawers is our cutlery, all our utensils. We've got an, a loose ends drawer basically that has all these random items in it. And then the bottom one is our bin. So a pretty regular drawer that you'd find in any house. So our utensils, we've got our cling wrap, our alfoil, we've also got some Ziploc bags and our new little milk whisker. 
USB attachment, um, so we're pretty excited about it. Mega cool. Then we've got our two big double cupboard under the sink. Open it up. In here is where we store all of our larger cooking items. So we've got fry pans, saucepans, chopping boards, a grater, um, our kettle. Uh, we've got our French press coffee maker. And then on the bottom shelf, we store a big crate full of sauces and anything that you'll really need um, when you're cooking in the kitchen. And Lockie has a beautiful little crate here full of his treats. Okay, so straight across from the kitchen, we have our big cupboard, uh, which is basically a pantry, um, and it's huge for storage. Initially, we had it as a wardrobe, so we actually had things that you could hang in there, but soon after moving into the van full-time, we realized that it was a complete waste of space, and we didn't really need to hang anything. So we've got a lovely mirror in here, which is great in the morning when you want to do your hair and... I don't know, look presentable. Um, so the bottom shelf here, we've got all of our toiletries stored and we've also started a little bookshelf important document area and all the little bits and pieces that we use every day um, are in there for easy access. Uh, the middle shelf, we've got our fruit bowl and we've also got a veggie bowl, so with onions and garlic and things like that that don't need to be stored in the fridge. Um, we've also got some containers here with things like our oats, we've got flour, uh, dried fruit, nuts, uh, it's all in that middle shelf here. And the top shelf is basically we've got two little spice containers, um, any canned ware or big jar of peanut butter that we go through a lot of, um, milk, anything that can be stored away is up the top there. You'll also notice that all of our cupboards have this non-slip padding in it. So that just stops when we're driving around and things can move around. It stops them from, you know, smashing from one side to the other. And we really don't have too many problems with things moving around in our cupboards. It's all set up pretty well, so. Below the two big cupboards, we have four massive drawers. Uh, two belong to me, they're full of my toys and gadgets. One is Ashley's personal drawer, and the bottom one is just linen drawer. So all the doors and drawers in the van are actually closed with magnets, which means there's no chance of them opening as we're driving around. So on this side of the van, uh, just where the kitchen bench is, we just have light switches, uh, 240 volt outlets, which run off inverter power, or they run off mains power. Uh, we've got a heating control, USB port, and our Max Air fan remote. And above that, we have our little paper towel holder, which is really handy to get the paper towel out of the way. And living somewhere else, there's a little holder just sort of hidden in there. Okay, so under this bench, we have one chair, which is for Ashley. That's Ashley's chair. And then beneath the chair, we also use for storage space as well. I'll just give you a look. So below this chair is actually where we keep our dirty laundry. All the dirty laundry goes straight in there and we close the lid. That way we don't have to smell it ever. So this collapsible laundry basket actually just lifts straight out when we need to do laundry. We just lift it out, take our dirty clothes out, and that's it. It's really done, and it's really that easy. There is a few ventilation spots around it so it doesn't get mildewy and gross. So that keeps the air flowing really well. So on this side, we have my chair. And just beside my chair, we have a switch for the hot water system and a switch for the inverter, which we use often. As well, beside me, just into the cupboard, there's a USB port, two USB ports. If I need to charge anything while I'm sitting there on my laptop, like my phone or whatever, there's a USB port right there. And then we have two storage spaces on my side. One is for my laptop, which sort of is a really sneaky little spot. It just sort of slides in and it's pretty hard to get out. So if someone tries to steal it, they probably couldn't get it out anyway. And then straight under the seat, we have our gas bottle. So our gas bottle lives in there and there's actually a vent hole right at the bottom because gas is heavier than oxygen. It goes down. So you would think it would go straight out the, the vent, which is really good. Other stuff we keep in there is just a bit of photography stuff, tripods, uh, Joby pod, and some bag stuff that sort of doesn't have a home and we don't really use that regularly, goes in there. Okay, so right above my head uh, where my chair is as well, we just have a lot of storage hooks that we put our beanies on, our hats, anything that we use pretty regularly. Our car keys sit up here, uh, some notepads, books, guides, anything that we use pretty regularly just sort of sits up there hidden away and no one can see the mess. We have our gas detector as well. It just detects any leaks or carbon monoxide buildup in the van and it's really, really good. We've never heard it go off except for in testing. And yeah, we're pretty happy with it, so it's good. Okay, so for ventilation in the van, we have two fans. We have a Max Air fan, which is right above me in the kitchen, and a Fiamma fan, which is above the bed at the back. Uh, Max Air fan is really, really good if it's raining or you're cooking in the kitchen and you need to suck all the air out. The Max Air fan is perfect because it has a rain cover as well, which makes it really good to use in all sorts of weather. 
Uh, the Foyama fan at the back is a lot more powerful and it works a lot better, but it's more suited to summer and pushing a lot of air around the van. So built in underneath our bed here, we have our Dometic 110 litre fridge freezer that is 12 volt. So as I mentioned, the fridge has a little freezer. So the freezer is just big enough to fit when Lockie's after a treat and he wants ice cream, it fits a little tub of ice cream in and it also fits in um, our week's worth of meat to freeze. Fridge is big enough. We usually try and only do one big weekly shop. So it's big enough to fit everything in. It is jam packed um, after the big shop, but but we manage and it fits in so it's pretty impressive and I couldn't recommend anything more than this. Just above our fridge we have our little retractable table which pulls out like this and we just use this when we need to sit and and do anything we sit here on our laptops or when we're eating dinner so it's pretty handy and it folds completely back away it's got some magnets on the back of it so when we're driving it doesn't go in and out and break. Okay so right beside the fridge we have our heater outlet which is for a planar 44D 4 kilowatt heater, which is really, really good. Uh, last winter we spent it in the Austrian Alps and we basically never ran it above 30% and we were pretty comfortable inside the van. So this is our bed. We bought it off the mattress of Amazon. It's a queen size bed and it is super comfy. You wouldn't know that you were in a camper van. You will notice that our bed is super high, but that was just so we could maximize storage space in the garage for all of our toys. So on either side of the bed, we have our storage for our clothes. So this is my side and this is Lockie's side. So pretty regular cupboard for a van. Okay, so on the door side of the van as well, we have our in all our inlets for all our services. We have an inlet for our water, which is a 110 litre water tank. We have our gas outlet in case we want to have a barbecue outside. It's not actually hooked up in the van, so it won't do anything, but it's there in case we do want it. And our mains electricity inlet goes right here. My favorite part of the van, this is a garage where we keep all our hobbies and everything's sort of stored away. As you can see, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. But once you sort of unravel it all, it sort of comes together and makes sense. Uh, on the back doors, we've actually put Armorflex insulation because in winter when we're going skiing, we noticed we get a lot of cold air coming in through the back. So what we did was we covered the doors in Armorflex 10mm insulation and it's probably the best thing we've done. It keeps us really nice and toasty, even in like negative 20 degrees. So. so here we have the bed frame for the bed. We have hooks here which hang all our bags. So we've got an airbag uh, climbing harness over there and two hiking bags and our fuel uh, shoe holder bag. So that keeps all our shoes really nice and tight. And my personal favourite, our Weber Go Anywhere. I cannot recommend this enough. We use this all year round and it is just the best barbecue I've ever had in my life. Yeah, so basically we have four of these big tubs full of gear. Uh, these front two are full of tools, snow chains, our electricity mains hookup, hoses all go on the top one and tools in the bottom one. Then we have some more tools over here. That's just everyday tools that you might use if something goes wrong. We have our two bikes and a Wi-Fi extender that sits over there. And of course our table and clothes dryer which we use regularly. Okay so this is our cozy storage area with everything out. Uh, to my right we have all the electrics, to my left we have the plumbing and above my head we have all our ski gear. So we have three snowboards up here and then on top of the snowboards lives some camping stuff, some pads and some sleeping bags and some pillows. So this is our 110 litre water tank which provides us with all the fresh water. We don't have a cover on this because in winter we want all the hot air to get around this so it doesn't freeze. And then in front of that we have our heater and all our water accessories coming out of that, our water pumps and, and our hot water system. On this side we have all our electrical gear. We have 200 amp hour of deep cycle battery. We have 200 watts of solar on the roof, which we will soon be upgrading. Uh, we have circuit breakers, a Dometic DC to DC charger, a Dometic mains charger, and the other side of the control unit from the front is actually powered from back here. So that lives in there, which is also full of fuses and all of the other stuff. And then we just have a solar controller and inverter that lives at the front as well. So originally we were actually going to put a bench here but we decided against it because it was going to cover our batteries and sort of cover the front. But we actually put a heating outlet at the back. So in winter the batteries get cold and they don't work as well in the cold. So what we decided was to keep all this sort of open and heavily ventilated and put a heating outlet at the back 
which stops everything from freezing and going really cold. So that sort of makes everything work a lot more efficiently. Okay, so right beside our water tank, we have this outlet, which I was talking about before. That's for the hot air to sort of steam around here and keep everything nice and warm and not freeze over during winter. And then we have our water, hot water up here, which is through a heat exchange from the diesel air heater, which is really, really good. Heats up our water to about 67 degrees and provides us with about 15 litres of hot water. In turn, we could probably have a five minute shower for, with hot water and be completely comfortable. And it takes roughly maybe about 10 to 15 minutes to get to about 40 degrees and maybe a bit longer to get to about 65 degrees. We're yet to test it out, but a video is coming very soon. So make sure you subscribe and you'll see that. Thanks for watching guys. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to our channel, give our video a like, and we'll see you next time.